Have you ever experienced physical symptoms and not known why? It could be that you're experiencing anxiety without realizing it. So what exactly is anxiety? Experiencing occasional moments of anxiety is normal, such as when facing a problem at work or before taking an exam where you may feel your heart beating rapidly, sweaty palms or nausea. But these symptoms of nervousness dissolve over time. While you may have experienced these symptoms at some point, Anxiety is more than temporary worrying or stress. Worries and stress arise from external triggers, such as an upcoming deadline or an argument with a loved one. Anxiety, on the other hand, is persistent worry in the absence of stressors. The American Psychology Association defines it as an emotion characterized by apprehension and somatic symptoms of tensions in which an individual anticipates impending danger, catastrophe, or misfortune. Aside from its mental symptoms, anxiety also produces a roster of physical symptoms, such as insomnia, fatigue, and muscle tension. Most people pay more attention to the physical symptoms as they're easy to identify, and as a result, tend to treat the symptoms rather than the underlying cause. So with that said, here are six symptoms of anxiety that can help you discern if it's an illness or anxiety. Number one, irritability. Yes, this symptom may seem vague because when you're unwell, who wouldn't be a bit irritated? However, if you find yourself getting worked up over the slightest things, that could be a sign of anxiety. Anxiety triggers our fight, flight, or freeze response. It also makes you believe that you're constantly in danger, which reduces your tolerance to stress. As your stress tolerance decreases, you become more susceptible to snapping at someone. According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet and you enjoy what you see, do consider hitting the subscribe button. This encourages YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content to more people out there. Number two, depersonalization or derealization. Another sign that your physiological symptoms are the result of anxiety and not a sickness as if you experience frequent bouts of derealization or depersonalization. Both symptoms disrupt how you perceive yourself and the world. Derealization is a sensation of being outside of your body and is a frightening thing to experience. One minute you can be walking down the street and suddenly everything feels two-dimensional or unreal. Depersonalization is usually described as an out-of-body experience. Most times you feel like you're watching and hearing yourself in real time but your actions feel distant, like you're not the person doing them, and your limbs or body can appear distorted and foreign to you. Reports show that stress and anxiety are the primary causes of derealization and depersonalization because your fight or flight response to stress floods your brain with adrenaline, which redirects blood from the brain to the larger muscle groups and core. Because your brain has less blood, you may feel more lightheaded, and as a result, you may experience derealization and depersonalization. If this happens to you, it helps to breathe. The adrenaline usually takes two to three minutes to metabolize, but you may take 20 minutes to calm down physically and mentally. Number three, phobias and coping mechanisms. Another sign that you're experiencing anxiety and not a physical illness is if you notice that you've developed new and unexplainable phobias. We all have phobias, whether they developed during childhood or are the result of a bad experience. Phobias are our brain's way of trying to keep us from harm. However, some phobias are the result of anxiety and can become obstacles in your daily life. Technically, phobias are categorized as anxiety disorders and fall into two groups, specific and complex. Specific phobias usually stem from a bad experience, but complex phobias stem from mental or emotional distress. Specific phobias usually don't need treatment, but complex phobias like agoraphobia, the fear of being in busy places, and social phobia do. These phobias can make you feel more alone and can also affect your self-esteem. Number four, attacks, trouble breathing. A telltale sign of anxiety is experiencing a panic attack or anxiety attack. Though both terms are used interchangeably, they're different. A panic attack is a sudden overwhelming surge of emotions such as fear and discomfort. You may feel your chest tighten as your breathing has stopped. You may also feel dizzy or lightheaded. While anxiety attacks have similar symptoms, they're a bit different as they're the result of symptoms that have been gradually building up. Number five, gastrointestinal disruptions. 
Gastrointestinal issues are another sign of anxiety, but can also arise independently of your mental health. While anxiety and gastro illnesses are mutually exclusive, there is research supporting the theory that anxiety causes gastrointestinal disorders such as irritable bowel syndrome. And studies have shown the comorbidity between anxiety and irritable bowel syndrome. There's lots of research that treatment for some gastrointestinal disorders may involve therapy. And number six, physiological strangeness. A final sign that you're experiencing anxiety is if you feel tingling or numbness, usually in your face and limbs, which is the feeling of blood rushing to your extremities as your fight or flight response kicks in. While blood rushes to your extremities, other areas of your body can feel weak. Tingling and numbing can also be caused by hyperventilation, which indirectly happens when you're anxious. Along with the symptoms listed in this article, there are other ways anxiety can manifest itself. Despite its symptoms, anxiety is manageable. Please reach out to a medical health professional or a therapist for help. Do you recognize any of these symptoms in yourself? Let us know in the comments below. And remember to like and share this video with anyone who might benefit. As always, the references and studies used are listed in the description below. Take care and thanks for watching. See you next time.